Hey guys, it it was a tough day for me. Um, I had a tough week, really, going back to school and all that. It it's been a weird, weird schedule this quarter. It oh man, but I'm chilling now because while this schedule is weird. I do get an extra day off. I get Fridays off. So that's awesome. So I'm chilling now and I'm not here to talk about that. And to anybody out there, what do you guys I've been thinking about this guy the last couple days. And I mentioned him before maybe once or twice, but I didn't really talk about him that much. But I've been thinking about this guy. So what do y'all think of Rhett Bomar? The quarterback, he's ranked fourth in this draft class <coughs> he's considered to be possibly the best senior quarterback in this draft class because the top prospects a lot of them are juniors and I was looking up on this guy and I was thinking this is an interesting prospect and if he falls to the late second maybe we could trade up if he falls to the early third we could sit right there and take him but anyway I mean I don't know what to really think of this guy but what do you guys think of Red Bomar? Here's a quick rundown of him that I wrote up real quick based on some stuff I saw on some websites. For those of you who, who aren't familiar with this guy, you probably are, but Red Bomar, he's 6'3", 220 pounds. He was ranked as the number one quarterback in the nation as a high school senior in 2004. In his senior year at high school, he threw for 1,272 yards ran for close to 550 <coughs> which I guess is really good for high school I, I wouldn't know I don't know anything about high school football he was a red-shirted freshman at Oklahoma in 2004 in 2005 he started 12 games went 167 out of 308 that's 54.2 completion percentage 2018 yards 10 touchdowns 10 picks 89 rushes, 184 rushing yards, and 4 rushing touchdowns. Which, you know, it's not very good, but he got better as the year went along, and he was the MVP of the Holiday Bowl. That offseason, he was kicked off the Oklahoma Sooner football team for illegally accept accepting payments from a car dealership. So he transferred to Sam Houston State and started playing his college ball there. Uh, 2007, he started 9 games before getting hurt, completed 59% of his passes, 2,200 yards, 10 touchdowns, 6 picks, 87 rushes, 406 yards, 7 touchdowns. You see that? He ran for 406 yards that year, so he started using more of his athletic ability. He was a very good guy. You know, he has good mobility, and he can get things done on the ground as well, so I like that. In 2008, Sam Houston State, he started... Uh, th 10 games, completed 56% of his passes, and he threw almost 440 passes, so he was th throwing the rock. He averaged almost 44 passes a game, basically. Uh, 3,355 passing yards, 27 touchdowns, 13 picks. Here's where the numbers get really sweet. Uh, 81 rushes, 351 yards, 5 touchdowns, on the ground so he was still using his mobility but he became a much better passer his accuracy is suspect but over his college football career he played 31 games went five completed 584 passes 1035 attempts 56.4 completion rating 47 touchdowns 29 picks so you know that's not amazing or anything but when you consider all the crap he went through that's pretty good his accuracy needs to get worked on but that senior year he you know threw nearly 30 touchdowns and had all the and you know he had to throw the ball a lot and still got it done he had a very nice season this last year but people forgot about him because he got in trouble he did one dumb thing oh he's done a couple of dumb things since but it's still a concern and people forgot about him, but I don't think that's fair. He is still is who he is. And if he played his whole college career at Oklahoma, people would be drooling all over him, just like they are with Bradford right now. So anyway, I also looked up this, um, you know, scouting report on him. The pros, uh, the good things about him. Da -da 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 -da. Hold on. Good size. 
He's got a strong arm. His mechanics are good. Good mobility. He can throw on the run. He's got good touch and timing. Throws a great deep ball. He's good under pressure. He's very competitive and confident. He's a good leader on the field. He's very productive. Not only is he talented, he puts up good stats. And his ceiling is much higher than where he is right now. He's here. He's up here. If he gets on the right team with the right coaching, they can bring him up here. Uh, some negatives about him. Again, he's only six foot three, six foot two in that area, which isn't short, but it's not that tall. And you know how I like tall quarterbacks. Uh, he has a lack of experience. His accuracy is suspect, as you can see above by the numbers. Uh, he takes a lot of chances that results in interceptions. You know, he had 13. He averaged more than one interception a game this last year, and he averaged close to one interception a game over his college career. He's got a lot of faith in his arm. He's a little cocky, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, but sometimes it does bite him in the butt. Uh, durability might be a concern because he did get hurt in 2007 and missed some games at the end, and I think he got hurt in 2008 as well. So it's something to think about. And, you know, you have the character issues. He accepted money illegally when he was playing at Oklahoma. He's been caught with alcohol a couple times when he was still a minor. Well, he's still a minor now, I think. But what do you guys think about this guy in general? Anybody. I mean, just anybody out there. Because if that guy, if Red Bomar played his whole career at Oklahoma, people would be drooling all over him. He'd be going in the top five or whatever, I'll bet. So, I don't know. I've been looking at this guy. I'm intrigued. How about you?